Hey guys, for today's video I thought I would do a what's in my bag. Um, I hope you guys don't mind that it is a what's in my changing bag because um, obviously this is the bag that I'm carrying with me now and we have Amelia with us and even sometimes when I don't even have her with me I just I take this with me I don't know why but I do like it um so this is my bag and it is the stork sack Elizabeth changing bag um I'll leave all the information down below I think this is the tan leather I'm not sure if it's called tan or brown leather but um it's just a brown leather bag and um I really really love this I love that it doesn't really look like a changing bag or a nappy bag it looks more like a kind of overnight weekend bag um it's something that you could use as your like carry on if you were going on a flight or something like that so i like that um okay so i'm just gonna move really quickly because i know this is gonna be probably gonna be a long video and i don't want it to be so in the front pocket right here where it says store exact i always carry my keys because i hate when I'm trying to find my keys and I'm like at the door and I'm fumbling for ages so that was just the quickest thing for me um, so these are my keys it's just my car key and my house key and a little cupcake keychain and my Tesco club card thingy that's it um, then in the there's also a back pocket here but I never carry anything in there um, oh Amelia's passport photos are in there <laughs> that's her little passport photo it's really creepy actually she looks like a gangster um, so that's all I have in there, but typically I don't really have anything there. And then when I open up the um, main part of the bag, it just opens with a zip. Oh, on the outside I have this. This is just um, nappy bags, so like arm and hammer, you know, the scented ones. And this is just one of those dispenser thingies. I got that from my sister-in-law. Um, okay, so in the main bag, I'll go with the main compartments um, first. There's this like little um strap with one of those i don't even know how to call that but like <laughs> you can put your keys on it if you want but i don't because of the problem i have with getting my keys out um so instead i put a little hand sanitizer this is from bath and body works and it was sent to me and um this is i love cake i'm obsessed with hand sanitizers especially ones that smell like cake um so you get a changing mat along with your stork sack Elizabeth that comes with it. You also get a pouch which you could ac actually um, clip onto the little strap thingy but I don't and in the pouch all I have are some um, wet ones for sticky fingers. I have a breast pad which I don't use anymore and I have these little like baby q-tips the ones that are safe for babies. Um, so that's all I have in there then i have my um or amelia's travel bib so this is one of those like plasticky ones and it folds up and um they're by tommy tippy they're really convenient my little sister had one of these as well i have my phone with my cupcake co um cover this is from paper chase a couple of years ago and then I have two packs of water wipes. One's almost empty and one's pretty full. Water wipes are the best. Um, they're from a company called Derma H2O. I think they're Irish as well. And Amelia rarely has nappy rash at all. They're all natural. It's made with like 99.9% water and 0.1% fruit extract. And they're just so natural and um, safe for your baby. Then I have a spare bib, it's got a cupcake on it, go figure. I have a vest, which is just spare. It's probably too small for her actually right now, but um, that's it, just in case she has any accidents. And um, another thing that I usually carry in there that I don't have right now is her sippy cup, because that's in the fridge right now. Um, okay, so that's the main compartment kind of done. Then on the sides, there's two pockets here on this side um, where I put nappies and um, I usually carry about six. I know it's probably a lot, but I do like three in each pocket. So there are her nappies. We use Pampers Active Fit. And then behind those two uh, sections, there's this like Velcro section here. And that's where I carry my wallet. This is a Liz Claiborne black patent wallet that I got in TK Maxx um, about three years ago. Yeah, maybe more actually, maybe four. Um, I've got my passport as well with my cute little octopus cover. 
Um, I've got spare passport photos if you're interested as well. Um, so yeah, that's my passport. And then I have a pen. And that's all that was in that big compartment at the back. And I like that because I always know where my wallet is. Another thing that I'm always kind of scrambling for. Um, then on the other side, there's other little uh, pockets. And I have my, usually I'll have my camera, which I'm obviously recording on. But this is the camera case. My camera is pink. It's um, a Canon Ixus something or other. I don't know. Uh, and then in the next one, I have this little sample size of Pseudocream. Uh, in the next, I have a, another hand sanitizer. This is the warm vanilla sugar one. Then in one of the side pockets, I have butt paste, which I got from my sister-in-law. This is made in the USA. It's an American, um, an American product. But it's really, really good, and it smells really nice as well. I love the smell of this. If you put it on your baby, like if they have a slight rash or um, any kind of nappy rash, you put it on the... At nighttime, the next morning, it'll be gone. Um, then I have a cupcake, like teething, um, teething toy. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And I have two pens. Got a lot of pens. And a reusable shopping bag with little paw prints on it. That was cute. And then that was in like one side pocket over here. And then in the other side, the opposite side, I've got some LS Kitchen cheese and tomato puffets for Amelia. These are organic uh, multigrain cereal snacks. They're tomato, oh yeah, I just said <laughs> cheese and tomato flavor. She loves them. They keep her occupied if she's like bored and they're not very messy either. Then in another side pocket, there's a lot of these. I have lanolin cream, which I don't actually use anymore, um, but it's for your nipples when they get like really chafed and sore, which they did in the beginning, but thankfully I don't need to use that really anymore, so I probably shouldn't even have it in there. And that is all from all of the side sections. Oh, I found a lipstick. Oh, I was missing this. This is Max Honey Love Lipstick. Um, yeah, I was actually looking for that. So that was not supposed to be in there. Okay, so last part is this compartment here, which zips up behind the little logo that says Stork Sack London. And um, this is where I keep all of my like cosmetic kind of stuff. So this could take a while because this is like a huge mess. It's like an accumulation of lipsticks and I don't even know how to stop. I have a problem. <laughs> I always end up putting like all my most worn lipsticks in here instead of in makeup storage where it should be. So um, I'll start with my mirror. This is just one of my makeup mirrors and it's got a picture of my dad and me in it. And I think my mom got this from Eason's. I'm not sure, it's, it's cute though. And Amelia likes to play with that actually when she's bored. Um, I've got another mirror. This is my model mirror. It's the one that um, it lights up. It's got like LED lights, so it's kind of cool. Amelia likes to play with that too, but she probably shouldn't. Um, I've got this lipstick, which is the P2 Pure Color Lipstick in Sunset Boulevard. It's a nude pink. Um, these lipsticks as well, they're all probably almost identical. This is... The Rimmel Kate lipstick, it's almost all, all gone, number three. The nude one. I've got Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've got a random selection of hair ties. I've got a zebra one, a pink one, a plain one. Another pink one, I've got one on my wrist right now. A green one. I've got Chanel lip gloss. Uh, this is number 297. I think this is called, is this called Sweet Beige? I think. It's a beige anyways. Um, I've got this hand cream, which I love. I'm gonna get a full size of this, I think, because it's from the, it was from a glossy box. Um, this is Brightening Hand Care with SPF 20, and it smells amazing, and it kind of gives you like a little shimmer to your hands. I've got some lip balm. This is Soap and Glory's A Great Kisser Lip Moisture Balm. This is the peach flavor, and Amelia actually got her, got into this, as you guys can probably see. And she put it all over our bedspread. 
she likes to play with my lipsticks and lip balms. Um, this is Figs and Rouge lip balm. It's 100% organic. I think this is almost empty. I'm not going to even bother opening that. Um, I've got another lip balm. This is Nivea's Lip Butter Caramel Cream. This smells amazing. I know you guys can't smell, but I always do that like as if you guys can actually smell it, even though you can't. Um, I've got another lip balm. Okay, this is from The Body Shop. It's their like honey bronze from their honey bronze range. This is actually very nice. It smells like honey and it's um, nude, but it's like shimmery and it's very pretty actually if you just want like a tiny bit of color. More lipsticks. I've got Max Angel which is just like a pale, um, cool pink. The one I have on right now is Chanel's Coco, Rouge Coco in Superstition. That's the one I'm wearing right now. It's just a nude. <laughs> Are you surprised? Um, I've got another one by MAC. This is Creme Cop. It's another nudie pink kind of color. And that's it. I've got two random almonds, because I like to snack on almonds, and a hair clip. And that's pretty much it. That's all the contents of my bag. So, sorry this was a really long video, um, but thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed. And I will put pictures on my vlog. I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!